we did not shoot the, the final scene of the series on the final day because um, that would have been a very nice idea to do it that way, but for reasons of sort of maintaining the secrecy of the show um, and sort of burying it in the middle of the production schedule was, was part of it. And also just, you know, we had to build some sets for the finale. So, um, you know, that- Sets it took, we've never seen before? It took them a long, well, if we're building them, if we're building new sets, chances mm -hmm. are you've probably never seen them before. But uh, we, um, the construction of the sets took a while, so that, that's, the, that's the work that we did last. Mm -hmm. You were joking about being online and happening upon a, a blog post that said, why Lost sucks. I mean, what, do you, what do you do when you read those things? Do you, do you respond? Do you, does, do you pay attention? You know, I, I think that um, every writer has got a little bit of a masochistic streak and, and part, one of the things that drives us is criticism. And as much as we say that we hate it and we're, we're really sensitive about it, you know, there is that you know, there is that, it's as, it's as close as we come to two opposing football teams that are about to play each other in the playoffs. You know, the opposing team for us is the audience. And if they are, you know, if they're making comments to the press about how they're gonna beat us, you know, sometimes that works as a motivator. You know, uh, criticism can be positive if they're saying, here's something that I liked, mm -hmm. um, or here's something that I didn't like and here's why I didn't like it. Or it can just be, neg it can just be trash talk. The trash talk is much more of, of, a, of an effective motivator because you don't take it to heart. Right. It's when the people who really love the show are saying bad things about the show that it kind of can emotionally cripple you. Carlton and I, at the beginning of the season, sort of pre-flighted the audience that we were gonna be using a new storytelling device. And we knew that this was going to be controversial in terms of, you know, at this, this late in the game, why are you doing this? And also, in the show, we've been very explicit in the storytelling is, this was a flashback. It happened before the plane crashed. This is a flash forward. This happens after these people get off the island. This is the time travel season where the island is moving around in time. This year, basically, we started showing them this thing and people don't know what it is. They don't know how it connects back into the show. So we're, we're throwing this, this huge mystery in, into a show that has already a bunch of mysteries and in, in, a, in a time frame where the audience is expecting us to be closing doors and not opening them, so. Will there, there be a reveal of that device and the reason for that device? You know, we have long said that um, the, the biggest question that we owe in the end game of the show is an explanation for why we decided to do this in the final season of the show and what the relationship between the two um, timelines are. And now the show has started to hint that there is a relationship as some of the characters in the sideways world are becoming aware of the fact that there is an island world or that they had these experiences on the island. I think that people, once we started doing that, started to feel a little bit more at ease because the audience has invested you know, 115 hours of their time in watching the series and the fact that we were showing them this story where, where 110 of those hours never happened is very threatening to them. But now that we're starting to say, no, no, it happened, you know, but we're not, we're not revealing exactly what we're up to here yet, um, I think is, is, is buying back a little bit of trust. But people's relationship with the show has to be one where you're going to disappoint me because it's much easier to come at the show from a point of view of you're not gonna give me what I want and then if we don't give you what you want then you're sort of like I knew it than to say I have faith that I'm gonna get everything that I want because then you're setting yourself up for disappointment.